Hello, welcome back to another edition of Northern Southern Beer Reviews with your host Jonathan Brown. Now the beer I'm doing now is um, from a brewer I haven't had really many beers from. Um, I think it's because of where I live. Um, I can't seem to pick much of their beers up. Um, a lot of the shops don't do them and I need to go to York to pick them up and everything like that. But I went to Miles and Spencer in Teesside Park, which was about a good um, 20 minutes for me, and I saw it. Um, they're um, flagship beers. I picked, managed to pick one up. So it's from Thornbridge, which are based in Derbyshire, and it's their Japer, or was it Jiper? Japer, I would say. Japer India Pale Ale, lovely jubbly boys and girls. Coming in at 5.9% ABV. There's the front. There is the back. As you can see, quite a bit of info there. And also, I notice on the neck, I don't know if you can see that, it says inspired by the Peak District, which is um, Derbyshire, I think, is it? Anyway, this is quite a new brewery. Um, they were founded in 2005, and they have actually won over 350 awards. Um, since then for their beers so um, I'm very much looking forward to this I can see it's bottle conditioned because there's a, a, a skim of kind of like um, skin of yeast at the bottom sediment at the bottom I don't know if you can pick that up no you won't be able to pick it up but I can see it in in the daylight so um, I shall read the back anyway Thornbridge Brewery is a collaboration of innovation passion and knowledge which is Written on the top there. Um, and our brewers come with a variety of experience but all share the same desire to make exceptional beers. Brewing has forever pushed the boundaries of technology and we found a way to use it to harness our passion for fresh, full flavoured beer. There's no pasteurisation or filtration. Um, hence that little skin down there. And no stealing of delicate flavours and aromas. A complex combination of all that makes beer great. Here, here. Um, the immediate impression, well, but I'm just going to see if there's any. There is a little bit of a. We're going into taste notes. Um, they're not saying what hops they're using either, which is quite surprising. Um, I thought they would put the hops and the malts and that, what they're using, but. I'm going to crack her open. I've been looking forward to doing this one for a while. I've had it in the back for at least a month. Um, never really got around to doing it. So there is a beautiful Thornbridge crown. Now I know they do a premium version of this beer, which I will pick up. And it's called the Japer X, which is about, I think it's about 10%. So let's see what we'll get from the beautiful hoppy, all them beautiful floral, floral notes, nice beautiful melon there. It smells like fresh flowers in um, kind of like fresh, fresh kind of like um, oh, like a rhododendron even coming out. That kind of that kind of flowers and fruit come to mind definitely like a meadow like a meadow of, of wild flowers with a few citrus notes you know there's a lemon definitely going on there maybe even a kiwi I can pick up a slight kiwiness there it just smells really really nice really nice so let's pour out She's come out quite pale actually, quite chalk, even slightly bordering on chalkiness, as you can see there, very pale looking beer, very pale. So let's give her a swell, I think this is going to be an absolute lovely, lovely beer. Real white head there, and it just carries on from the neck, it's, it's, it's the floor. Oh, fresh meadow, grass, 
beautiful, not strong citrus aromas here. We're talking quite a balanced citrus aroma to to what the to the floralness, the floralness and the citrusness, real balance of aroma. It just smells really nice. Um, out of the citrus fruits, I think the lemon is the more prominent. Definitely. So let's top her up. I think she's going to be really nice. And there she is. It is quite um, a chalky looking limestone-y type of paleness there. Um, the head is the head is is really really shining to me. I don't know if it's sunlight. It's really it's dissipating down slowly. I can see the sediment in there, lots of sediment in there, which I love in my beers. I love unfiltered beers. Um, I think all beers should be unfiltered. You, you, I think you're losing for me. You lose a little bit of the flavour when you have a filtered beer. And she looks really nice really nice indeed so cheers everybody i'm gonna go in you get the bitterness first but everything feels delicate delicate bitterness a little bit of grassiness on the back end you can feel it on the back end, a slight bit of grassiness, hedgerow, maybe a hint of berry there as well. All these flavours, very delicate, all working together. A little bit of biscuit coming through now, slight hint of complexity coming out. But very smooth in the mouthful. Um, the mouthfeel, sorry. When I'm tasting it, it just feels really smooth. Nice hints of fruit. Nice hints of floralness. Balancing with that grassy, hoppy, pine grass even finish. Tastes absolutely lovely this is my first Formbridge beer <laughs> review I'm gonna do more believe you me absolutely adore it um, this is a fantastic beer and what a way to start if you haven't had any Formbridge beers like me or you haven't had many or whatever if you want to try a Formbridge beer start with this kitty because I think it's the best place to start and it is wonderful because as I'm going in it's building up all these flavours are just coming up and coming up um, as I've been talking to you right now I'm still getting that still getting that hoppiness on the back end um, I'm still getting a lot more grassiness about it as well so it, it, it's staying at the back end it's staying at the back of my throat and it's it's a lovely feeling to have um because it feels like having a real quality beer which it is wonderful nice biscuit berries coming out and taste that berryness tasting the grassiness it's all there the lemon it just gets better with every mouthful. So boys and girls, I heartily recommend this one. Formbridge Japer. Beautiful beer. Really is beautiful beer. Um, anybody out there uh, who recommend any more Formbridge beers for me to try, please murder me in the comments and tell me what one to try next. I really appreciate your comments and feedback. Um, Please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching this review. I could go on for another 10 minutes about it. It might take a while to upload. Like. So boys and girls, again, Formbridge Japer, heartily recommend. So thanks for watching. See you on my next one, which I'm going to do in a minute.